Mental health is a tremendous global issue, uh, really, again, uh, boosted by COVID and its collateral, and we provide solutions that are fast, productive and objective. Neurocare has been personalising mental health care for almost 20 years, using state-of-the-art neuromodulation to help children, adults and their families achieve lasting mental wellness. Neurocare clinics help treat psychiatric disorders and provide pain management and rehabilitation services. Neuro Academy educates professionals and the Neurocon unit specializes in neurofeedback and neurostimulation. Joining me to discuss more is Neurocare founder and executive chairman, Thomas Mechtersheimer. Thomas, welcome to TCN TV. Thank you, Lele. Thanks for having me. Now, Neurocare is a pioneer in what is called di digital therapeutics. Can you explain what that means and how the industry is evolving? Yeah, digital therapeutics is an emerging um, label for people that, according to the definition, integrate work from technology, from therapy science, from also pharmaceuticals, and of course, the emerging digital health thing. And it, the, the, the term digital therapeutics re refers to the fact that you create value both in diagnosis and in therapy, as opposed to what you hear of digital health, like one connecting a patient with a physician um, via video, for example. That's just digital delivery or connection. But digital therapeutic means you integrate the work from different disciplines. You have a an, an holistic approach and you create value both in diagnostics and in therapeutics with digital tools. So how is digital therapeutics applied at NeuroCare? Well, we, we have a very specific process of doing detailed diagnosis and we do that on three, four, five levels, the physiological, the neurological, the psychological and the biological level. And we use digital tools to partly, for example, we do a brain scan and a brain mapping, which makes us understand how a person functions neurologically. And that is done and evaluated with the help of digital tools. Or a concrete example on the therapeutic side is we use neurostimulation to help people, to help psychiatrists and psychologists have new patterns that need to be programmed into people's mind, programmed faster. And that is neurostimulation. So could you give us an idea, Thomas, of the average patient or person that you would see and quite simply how neurocare would help them when they are in need? Yes, usually it's so-called treatment resistant depression. And these poor people have had decades partly of um, different diagnoses and then being stuffed full with medication without helping them at the causal level and at the focal level with their brain. So we look after what we call improving people's self-regulation. And that means, as I said before, the diagnostic process is done very differentiated and detailed, including actually most importantly looking at people's sleep, which is the basis for your self-regulation. And then in the, on the therapeutic side, we work out an individual therapy protocol for each patient, which looks at their physiological, psychological, and neurological improvement. And this is why roughly within three months and 30 sessions, we have responses in our clinic of well above 80%. So people do get better and they do get better fast and they do so without pharmacy and side effects. Now, you are, of course, committed to achieving leading clinical and commercial outcomes. How are you currently commercialising these operations and what are your plans to scale? Well, we have shown over the last two, three years that we can scale that clinically. We operate now 15 clinics treating 1,500 patients a year and the clinical results are scalable and are the same across Europe, the US and Australia, New Zealand. On the commercial side, it is, of course, if you do better, much better. And if you do have shorter, more productive therapy and patient times, then, of course, from the commercial side, your EBIT and EBITDA margins tend to be higher. So we can, in very short, we can show an existing clinic or hospital or a new clinic or hospital how to do better clinically and commercially 
And that's how we will scale. Either we will do, as you call it, brownfield, that means team up with existing clinics and turn them around both clinically and commercially, or we can certify and franchise our system out to existing psychology practices to do better. Okay, Thomas, and how are your plans progressing to list on the Australian Securities Exchange and how can investors get involved? Well, as you know, there's the CRISP platform from Wholesale Investor. They can get onto this and see our uh, deal room, our data room. They can contact myself directly and the plans are progressing well. We think that towards the end of 21 or early 22, depending on the whole COVID and, and the surrounding situation, we should be good for an IPO. We're just finishing our last pre-IPO round. So this is kind of the last time to get in and to get equity to a, you know, a good price. So uh, please contact us and, and please let's talk. That's wonderful. Well, all the best with your ASX IPO. And thank you for participating in the Emerging Small Caps Summit. Wonderful. Thanks for having me, Lady. And thank you for watching. Now, if you like what you see, please be sure to like and share the video and drop us a comment. Tell us who you would like to see next and what you would like me to ask them. Or if you're an investor, send us an email so we can keep you in the loop with the latest ideas to empower.